Hey everybody, it's Blitz I'm playing some uh, more Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time we healed the poor Zora Makar. Makar? I don't know. And this time, we're gonna look around, see what we can do. We can see a, what looks like a fishtail thing over this way. We're gonna go through the water. Using our magic thing is actually a damage, does damage to enemies that we encounter, by the way. I didn't mention that last time. Gonna avoid this like, like, and I'm gonna check this. Zora Holohead, now rehearsing. The Zora Band with that deep sea sound, the Indiegogos. Let's go in. There's only a few things we can actually do here at all. Uh, but there's some things we'll also need to come back for later on. Not that much later on. So I'm going to just leave this for now and come back a bit later. But I'm going to go through here instead. The main reason being is that we can see this person here. That sad face is trying to tell you something. You can see it in her, her expression. I want to keep that noted. And I want to hit this owl statue as well. Because it will be very helpful to warp around the place. Always very helpful to open up warps where, wherever. Whenever. But anyway, now that we have all that, I'm going to warp actually. So, instead of hanging around here at the uh, Zora whatever place, I don't know. Let me see, is it Zora Cape? Yes it is. I thought it was. I can... I know the names, but I don't trust my memory. But anyway, I want to go back to Milk Road. It's not 2.30 a.m. yet, obviously. But, there is something we can do here. So, gonna call a Pona. Uh, which way? There we go. And, I want to go back in this way. Back to the Gorman track. So, let's speak to you if I can. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a m mule. For sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you pushed the control stick forward? Or would it run faster if you press A? This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for the chance to ra for the chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. What what will you do? I want to race. It's a simple race. Just go once around the track. If you can beat us to the finish line, you win. Ha huh, ha. Huh? You ready? Okay, let's do this thing. Just have to win them, beat them in this one race. No rematches. Oh dear, I got caught on the fence. This is quite a big track, which is very different from Ocarina of Time. There's also mud pits here, it's hard to see. But anyway, we can go through the grass. Can I actually shoot these guys? 
Like, I know that's not a normal thing for people to ask, but can I shoot these guys? It's giving me the option. But anyway, instead, I'm going to just keep going forward, jumping over everything. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, dear, I failed. Guess I'll have to try again. Yeah, yeah, we win. If you like, we'll ra let you race us again. What do you do? I want to race. Let's try this again. I guess there is a rematch, but it's for me this time. I'll even throw in the horse. <laughs> nah, that's not a great idea. It didn't work out for the guy I got this horse from. Oh dear. Although, I didn't really get permission in the past as Child Link for this, so... How do I have this horse again? I just stole it, I guess. Although, he wasn't really the owner of the horse at the time I got it, so... This is all very confusing. I'm gonna hold on to this thing if I can. I'm just spamming the stuff too much. Okay... Final stretch. Oh dear. No, 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 no! Ah. Well, shouldn't have thrown in the horse. Ah. Race again. I don't remember having much trouble with this. Okay. Let's go. I need to space out my dashes more efficiently. Okay, come on. That's better. Pretty sure. Okay, go, 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 yes! Got it that time. And for doing that and beating them, I can't believe we will we lost. Big bro, I wonder if we can give this to the guy. What we can give to this guy? Uh we gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so what could he do with it? It should be fine. And for that, they give us the Garo's Mask. The wandering ninja spirits who appear at Akana once wore this. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. You rubbed the Gorman brothers' noses in it. This was added to your notebook. <laughs> That's a great thing to add to a notebook. Anyway, now that we have this, I'm gonna teleport around the place and do some things. Starting off, uh, I can't remember what I wanted to do. Let me look at my notes. This is why they were here. Um, do I want to go get that now? Yes, I do. Kind of do. Anyway, I'm going to go to the Southern Swamp. And there's something I want to get there. Actually, I should have come back for this later after getting something else, but anyway. Actually, no. It's fine. There's something else I need to do before that, anyway. There's so many things that lead to other things that lead to other things right now, but it goes back and forth from the same areas. But anyway... Let's just walk in this swamp because we're tall enough as... Uh... Zora Link. But I want to run through here. So... If I can get up to uh, the uh, witch's potion shop, I want to buy a red potion. Don't ask why, because we're about to find out anyway, so... Anyway. Let's go ahead and talk to you, possibly, maybe. Please? Speak. There we go. At all. Your person friend is lost in the woods, but I haven't talked to her, so you can't actually believe me. 
Anyway, I'll buy this red potion. And now that we have this, we're gonna warp again. And we're gonna go back to Clock Town, I guess. I guess that's the closest place, somewhat. There are a few places we could probably go to, but yeah, I'm gonna just go to Clock Town. And I believe I wanna go. Uh. Which direction is that? East, I think. Did I do it right? Gotta go to Icana Canyon in this direction. So, anyway, I'm gonna get out of Pona. <laughs> get out of Pona. Call the Pona. Epona is not in my pocket. I cannot get her out. Why are you over there? Anyway, let's just get on. And let's go on a journey. This is a place we haven't gone to yet, but you can only get here with Epona as well. So, one of the two places that needed it. Let's jump over everything here. And now, if I can get off a Pona again. There's that guy up there, but we don't need to worry about that yet. Instead, I'm going to get out my magical uh, lens of truth. And reveal that there is a guard hidden here. Let's talk to him. Huh? Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who, who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but anyone who ever everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's cause I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it though. Huh? I have a request. Can you give me something, some medicine that would make even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Give him some red potion? Ah, that. Is that it? And with that, he's been revived! I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here. In gratitude. And he gives us the stone mask, where we've seen to become as plain as stone. Now, let me practice standing out. Shiro, the stone soldier, was added to your notebook. You helped the inconspicuous soldier. This was added to your notebook. <coughs> But that's everything for that. And now, I want to go over this direction. To the secret passage path thing. So let's go this way. I think it's great that I said I was going to go do some stuff in um, Great Bay last episode and then I haven't done much at all. But anyway, welcome to the graveyard. In Ikana. Here's Dampe over here. How you doing? I am Dampe, the gravekeeper, who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I am not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the King of Icana Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It is a frightening graveyard. Well, we're going to leave that for now. And we're going to head up this way further. You can see some fire up there randomly, as you do, I guess. And I want to get out. What do I want to get out? I want to get out my ocarina. I guess arrows, even though I don't need them. We can see this skeleton thing here. Style child type thing. Uh, ye who awaken me, battle me. Then I shall I extinguish the furious flame. Okay, well. Let us play this um, Sonata of Awakening. <coughs> Awakening this giant Stalfos, who we need to battle now. But as he walks further, he's going to have a bit of a time limit about him, kind of, somewhat. 
We need to try and catch up to him as quickly as possible with these flame walls, fire firewalls, <laughs> getting in the way. And also, that's not great, getting knocked back. Spin attacks are your friend for this because you can do lots of damage quickly, especially when you get catch up to him. Please, no, yes. Okay, let's battle. This is actually mini boss music, that's cool. But anyway, we can just spin attack forever and he would just probably die somewhat quickly. There we go, spin attack, spin attack, there we go. He is defeated. Wait, it is my loss. Sheath your weapon. I command the Akana army of Akana Kingdom atop this the hill. I am called Skull Kita. <coughs> Since being shamed by loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have awaited here for one to come and awaken my soul. I hope I can get this now. I might not be able to. Young swordsman who has awakened the the. the uh, defty, deftly defeated me. Uh, I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask you to take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flame, and convey my words to my men who are, who even in death remain loyal to me. Tell them the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir. May I ask to... May I take leave, sir? I don't know. Yeah, alright. You can go. Yes, sir! And he's gone. And with that, the fire is gone from that chest, and we can actually climb up here now. And if I can line myself up better, maybe, hopefully. We can jump across. There we go. Otherwise, there's an item later on that we might get in the next few episodes. That will make that getting across here a lot easier. But anyway, for that we get the captain's hat, where it will see. The ghosts of a hundred soldiers w swear allegiance to this symbol of authority. And with that, that's everything I want to get here right now. Let's warp again to a Great Bay po uh, Coast. Let's see, where is it? There we go. There we go. Well, now that we're here, I guess we should go in this direction, I guess. So I'm going to get out my Zora mask. I said the last episode, or I believe last episode, that I don't want to do it yet, but I guess now I think I'm ready for it. Let's go this way. Um, I believe there's some Zoras in the Zora Cape area that tell you that you need to go this way. I don't know which ones, I haven't checked. Uh, but we need to go towards the Pirate's Fortress in this direction. Which there is a secret egg entrance right back here. So let's go in. Welcome to the Pirate's Fortress. This works a bit like the Gerudo Fortress in Ocarina of Time. And just like it, we if we get caught by the guards, we will get sent out and dropped right outside the gate. So instead, I'm going to put on this stone mask, which actually makes me invisible to them. This is not available in the 3DS version, so I'm sorry for all of you. At least, I think it is in the 3DS version, but you get it get the stone mask in, in this place, so it's very different, so but anyway, I want to get on top of one of these boats that are driving past here 
possible, and I want to take a picture of a Gerudo pirate thing, please. Maybe. Okay, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I want to keep this picture. And with that, I'm going to equip something else to that slot. I guess I want to make sure I don't lose it. So anyway, we're going to just ride on this thing here now. <coughs> Till we get to where we want to go, I guess. Although I could just probably jump off as Zora Link and just swim to where I need to be. But we need to go over here. So I'm going to jump off now. There we go. Perfect. And if I can go up here. There's one of these switches from Snowhead here. Which we can ground pound as Goron and use to get into where we need to go. And now I'm going to turn it into a Zora. But that's it for this episode of Legends of Zelda Majora's Mask. Next time... We're going to continue exploring this place of the Pirate's Fortress and see what we can do. See you guys then.